so guys hello so how many of you know how many of you know that you can actually tie your fabric and convert it to a turban without having to cut or using a sewing machine this is the process i would be showing you in this video today we can use both stretchy and non stretchy fabric so we can use the fabric like satin like dulcet like a raw silk you know you can use both even even a shoki we can use it all right but today the material or fabric i will be using is a stretchy one you can see it and i have about uh, one and a half yard of the material so i started by folding the material into four so that it becomes short okay and not too long and we'll have it as the size or depth of our normal turban so that you don't have challenges thinking of where to cut off so you can see the back we can bring the back together like this yeah and then we close the top so let's go ahead with what we are supposed to do so you can see that i based my uh dummy using suede and i use a double suede so that the opening i would have after preparing this turban on the dummy's head would be big enough to fit into the head of any adult okay so i just want to ship this in the suede on my dummy's head looks dirty because i use a spray paint black spray paint to work so that's why it looks that way so it's a spray paint okay please and i will soon transfer it from this head to a better head but i don't want to jump this process so that you will understand what i am doing and why i have to do that so you tie the turban in any way you feel you want to and as you tie it's advisable that you begin to secure it using so you begin to secure it step by step as you go ahead with whatever you are doing just ensure that your needle and thread is ready and you just begin to tack it down because if you don't tack it down it's not going to stay remember what we what we aim at is to permanent it so and while you are sewing also you have to also ensure that it is neat so this part you see that i rolled that i twist around you can uh tie it if you do not wish to use this uh method that i used so you can actually tie without having to use uh, the method of uh, twisting it around to get the v base and of course if you do not wish to have a v, a v uh, base you can uh, do a straight tying okay so we keep tying we keep securing it we keep tying and we keep securing every part that we need all right we have to ensure that it stays that's just it okay
at this point i want the design i have at the top to to be a little bit bold and you can see that the material is very soft so i have to pad it up using a chest wording so i just put in some uh, chest wording into it and then close it for me to close i'll go ahead and use my needle and thread to tack the material uh, along with the chest wording but assuming you do not want to tack you can just go ahead and apply hot glue on both sides of the of the chest wording and then cover it with the material that one is very fast and also it is accurate but less so because it's not everybody that would like the pattern of uh, using the hot glue so we are going to tack uh, carefully and as we sew it's necessary that we ensure that the thread is not visible so as you continue to uh, hold it together with your hand needle you have to try as much as possible to hide your thread which means the movement of your thread should be inward that is your thread should always pass inside the material to get to the distance to the next distance you wish to come at like i'm doing now okay you see the thread it's not showing so you have to make sure your thread is hidden inside your sewing the only point we can see that you sew is the part where you pull it that might want to have a little uh, um, depth you know that want to give a little sign apart from that your thread should not uh, be visible at all so we try as much as possible you can see that instead of the design falling like it did at the beginning it has changed it's now standing so i'm transferring this to a better dummy where we can have a clearer view of the beauty of this creation so you can see it will sit on the head the adult head perfectly okay so we fix it you can make your smaller know your your head size and work with it okay the circumference of the head you want to work with it's necessary you know it and work with it so now that i am done with this the remaining part i can twist around like this or i can decide to cut it off all right or we can twist it and use it along the side i will come to that later you see this opening we are going to close it using um loose stitches okay
Thank you.